Hey everyone, this is Isaac with the Immoral Wolf family. Doing a recap of the Immoral Thieves. A ranged war with uh, TD War. This is a very uh, heavy matchup. In weights, uh, Thieves got the win 80 78. A good try, TD War. Um, we got 2 Town Not 10 triples to 0. A breakdown was 3 11s on both sides. Uh, four, two, 8. Town on 10s and 2.5s, rest 9s. 30 versus 30. Yep. So, more triples, of course. And much higher destruction. Uh, we had 96% on this base, like 4 times or something. And 97 here. So, very, very close uh, on the triples, but we still put off the win, so great job, Thieves. Six backs. Ooh. Not many this war, I think. Fear the rabbit. Killer Nort. Fred. Um. Deep as Poopsie. That was it. So, very nice job, guys. We're gonna start with Sam, a new member. I believe X Savage Sluts. Uh. I believe Sloot's disbanded. I don't know exactly why, um, but a lot of their members uh, joined us. I'm pretty sure Sam is one of them, so great job, bro. Okay, starts with the Queen Walk Govaho. Valks obviously being the uh, go to 3 star attack, 10 or 10. So it turns out all that 11 dips uh, didn't actually get any triples, uh, but our 10s did, so... Queen walk, very important there for pathing, not not a short walk, but uh, Valks are known to stray, and if the Queen removes the pathing to the left, they will most certainly go right, which is where you want them to go, where you can jump into the second inferno. Freezes all the DPS there, if not the Valks surely melted. Uh, he exploits the space here because the Infernos are too far, far away. They can get healed up before engaging the second Inferno. Hogs to the uh, left hand side, obviously no double giant bomb possibilities. They'll just ring around. At this point, uh, Hogs won't run into any more bombs, so easy triple. Uh, obviously, clean up wizards necessary. Town on turn three minutes. Excellent attack, Sam. Really path those Valks uh, the way you wanted them to. And uh, Hogs with no bombs to stop them left unchecked. Uh, easily play out the rest of the base. Next we got Oblique to Duh, aka Joey, doing another AQ Walk Govaho. On their lowest channel 10. Starts the Queen Walk down south, wants her to walk to the left, so an open walk instead. Makes the funnel. So, very early jump there. Let's the Valks break through. Join up with the Queen. Queen clearing out the pathing at the left hand side, so the Valks will most certainly go up top. 
Hog's the right side. This guy has the hound in the CC, so the old meta does nothing to Valks. They die off here, so now all the weight uh, is born on the hogs, but low level point defenses. And here is the healers on the working left hand side, hogs on the right hand side. He just has enough to power through. Not the cleanest rated by the triple, nonetheless. Wizard on the right hand side, saving him. Very nice ride, Joey. So you got Aiden, uh, another new member from Sloots, taking on this 9.5. So three buildings over there at the right. He gets the cannon and all those um, storage is taken care of. Three one for one loon trades. Sweeper negates his second loon, but no matter. Hand loon the CC. His queen will deal with it. Got a wizard to help speed up the process. She's going to continue walking to the left. Funnel sufficiently created on the right hand side. It's good to do two things at once. Um, don't want to waste any time. Now our funnel's cleared out. Uh, he doesn't have to waste time dropping wizards or minions or whatever. Jumps the Valk straight into the queen compartment. And double jumps it to grab uh, two puzzle double giant bomb locations. And they go rip up the core, low DPS, just expose. And proceeds to hog the rest of the base. Queen does it as a farm and continues. Uh, very nice raid. Uh, Queen negating CC Tesla farm. Valken King negating uh, doubles and the Queen. So, a lot of things went on in this raid, um, but Aiden makes it work. Very good attack. Both heroes in the green, queen at full health. Oh, this lag is bullshit. Um, next we've got Joms. Clean up attack. Uh, with straight go Vaho. He comes cross map from the queen, yeah, which is really the smart thing to do. He brings both EQ and jump, uh, simply because he knows he's going to grab all four double giant bombs. Sorry, four giant bombs. Uh, because it's pretty obvious Tesla double giant bomb in that dead space. Second double giant bombs again, pretty obvious um, in between the expo and the other arch tower. So on route. Three uh, golems and Valks, huge push, and he knows he only needs one heal for the hogs because, well, no bombs. So very delayed on his king and Valks, which is needed. Heals him up. The king does take uh, a walk. So a bit off course here, but uh, Joms undeterred, sends in his hogs. King will redirect, and he's got the jump. Uh, without the jump, uh, probably would have been a fail. But Joms knew he could bring that countermeasure just to be safe. Second heal. And it's a wrap, so great attack Joms. You bring exactly what you need to negate the bombs. And uh, I only need one heal to do the rest of the base. Very nice, um, obviously Valks all the rage, but the next attack is going to be air. This is 
my first hit. Shadow the Loon. You still pull these kind of strategies against these bases. A one jump will get two air defenses. And a sweeper. And a queen. And uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. See, not much DPS in the opener. So the golems can survive long enough. I threw in an extra wizard. You always need wizards in the kill squad to help speed things up. If not, uh, they might lose steam. So immediately, as King engages, flight starts. More of a haste fan, honestly, than rage. So, uh, flight straightforward, rotational motion uh, coming from behind the sweeper. So both royals even still alive, uh, perfect synergy there. But the queen trips a giant bomb and kills the king. Missed timing there, uh, trying to distract the wizard tower for the big pack, but didn't work out. Probably should have saved the other loot uh, for that back end wizard tower, but. It works out. So air raids still, even in this era of Valks, are very effective. Even straight go the loon can be done on any base as long as you get uh, what you need. Next, got another air raid. Uh, Fear the rabbit. Clean up attack. CB Laloon. Cold blood. Uh, this guy's made it difficult uh, with those exterior defenses. But one loon trade. Minions to help make the funnel. And CB starts from the top. So perfect that a jump because wall breakers will be fried by the wizard tower and a rage. So big spell investment for the kill squad, but to need it, this guy put his Tesla farm um, for his kill squad, which has ruined raids before, if you're not expecting it. But this was a clean up kit, so uh, Tesla farm was accounted for. And max heroes, uh, just enough to snag him, queen and air defense. And now it's straightforward flight, it's got the grounded expose. So again, all haste. And uh, he ends up swagging three of his haste, so three spell slots. He even gets a hound left unpopped, so overkill in the space. Air raids still absolute overkill if you can get them done right. Excellent job, Fear the Rabbit, and on the six pack. He's got Katoom with uh, double jump Govaho. I think this was a clean up attack. Katoom ends up swagging a spell. So again, early hogs. CC isn't even fully done and already sends in his hogs. Because uh, he knows double giant bomb in between sweeper and the mortar there, he must get that tripped. So for like the cost of three hogs, he trips a double giant bomb. Uh, sounds worth it to me. So double jump to get second uh, double giant bomb set and the Archer Queen. And with no bombs, you see how easy it is for Hogs just to ring around the base and uh, not need any heals. Nice shot Katoom. Swagging out that last heal there.
Even as a king, still up. The last story I'm going to show is uh, Poopsie's Array, uh, Max Valk. Yeah, just really back in hogs. EQ. Go okay, Vaho, I'd really say, but really a Max Valk attack with some back in hogs. He's got a shit ton of Valks. And a Hound, so it's uh, cleanup attack. Poopsie did two cleanups, six pack. And he's got the queen up top, and she's gonna do a thing, stay away from the hound while the Valks wreck shit. So queen with no healers, again, you can get great value out of her. He ends up missing the queen ability, but... Even just the, the two defenses that the queen got, are pretty worth. Better than popping that hound. He's now on the golem, attacking for everything. Uh, he's sensing the hogs. Most of those double giant bomb triggered. He's got so many Valks just left up. Uh, absolutely great attack, Pipsy. I quite like this, this style of attack. Uh, mass Valks. One Golem and uh, very light on the hogs. It might seem to be the way to go nowadays with the uh, Valks. Alright, uh, that's it from this war. Uh, again, nice job TD War, I believe they have a YouTube channel. Uh, first arranged war Thieves has had uh, since Dragon Rejects, so uh, we've, we've had a bit of a while to uh, stretch ourselves with some farm wars and stuff. So, uh, looking forward to the next one, if you'd like to join us, and uh, maybe one day end up here. Go ahead and apply at immoralwarfamily.com and uh, the leaders get in touch with you there. That's all for me. Uh, good War Thieves, keep it up. Have a good one.